What's going on guys, Infinite Lists here. Before the video starts, make sure to subscribe to this channel as I will be doing giveaways and shoutouts very soon. And turn on my notifications so you never miss any videos. I do upload daily videos, so make sure to do that. And comment below if you subscribe because that is the only way to win any of the giveaways is by being subscribed. So comment below if you are. And let's get right into the video. So today's video is not going to be very happy. It's going to be the top five saddest moments on YouTube. You've probably seen some of these videos already, but I just wanted to compile all of them in one video because these are truly the saddest videos I have ever seen. That feeling in your stomach you get when something is sad is just like, whoa, it's crazy. And these videos are very sad, so. So we're just gonna get right into it with our number one video. It is PewDiePie actually, and PewDiePie plays this game called The Walking Dead. A lot of you may know it, it's also a TV series. He's at the end of the episode on this game. The character has to kill off one of his good friends and it's just a very sad moment if you've been through this whole game and you've gotten to know the characters and everything, so, so yeah, here it is. One of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Please, no. It's okay. It's okay. Make it. First days we met. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn, we met a girl. She'd been bitten too. All she wanted was to not come back as a walker. Lee? And I remember how hard it was to do that. But I'm glad I did. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. Why can't I, he do it? I can. I know Mid and Chris. I don't need it, Krista. They're probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. And you'll find them. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... <sighs> what? What is it? No, oh, don't worry. Alright. I'll miss you. Me too. <laughs> oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually watching all those videos of PewDiePie playing The Walking Dead and that hit me hard. Um, that was a very sad moment, so... On our next video, we have Jack Septikai. A lot of you may know him, he's a very funny YouTuber. He makes daily videos, he has around almost 12 million subscribers, I think. He was playing a game called That Dragon Cancer, and this game had a part where it reminded him of his grandma. His grandma had passed away pretty recently, and the game reminded him of a part where his grandma actually forgot who he was in her last days of living, and it was just a really sad moment, so check it out. This is sad because <laughs> it reminds me of the, the last few days when my granny was alive, and she didn't die of cancer or anything, but she, she was locked away in like a hospital for the last few months of her life, and she didn't really recognize anybody anymore. She was, she was super, like, aware of everything. Oh, God. Sorry, that's gonna sound terrible. She was super aware of everything, like, her entire life and right up until she went into hospital. But as soon as she went into hospital, 
and she was starting to get treated for, um, I, I can't remember what it was she had. She had something in her leg that spread through her body and affected her blood. But she was in hospital for a few months before she died and her mind just completely went. And I remember going in one time with my sister to see her and we were talking to her and my granny was like, is Sean going to come in to visit us? And I was sitting right next to her and she didn't know who I was. And that was really sad. Again, she didn't die of cancer or anything. It's just reminding me of it. And I need to move on or I won't be able to move on. The next video is from Wicked Shrapnel. He talks about Yot Slayer, which was a very popular Call of Duty Zombies player. Yot Slayer actually passed away. He was intoxicated while driving and two of his buddies were actually trying to beat a train and unfortunately the train hit them and all three of them passed away. So this is also a very sad moment and one of his good buddies, Wicked Shrapnel, talks about it. Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel and I'm very sad to say that a good friend a good friend of mine oh I can't even say the words a good friend of mine Brian most people know him as Yote Slayer died in a car accident last night uh, he uh he tried to beat a train, he got hit by a train, and him and two other people in the car died at the scene. And I've known him for a few years now, and you know, he's not just some guy I heard about on YouTube. I consider him a friend. And he will be dearly missed. So I just want to give my condolences to the family. And it's just really sad. We got to be good friends, just playing games together. There was a lot of good times that we had playing Zombies or Borderlands 2 and I'm gonna put a link to all the videos that we did together in the description kind of like a memorial of all the good times that we had so I'll say rest in peace Brian Next video is on the Syndicate project. Tom Syndicate is a very loved YouTuber. I've been watching him pretty much since the start of his channel. He's been doing a lot of zombie stuff. That's when I first started watching him when, when he was on the Call of Duty Zombies stuff. And he has close to 10 million subscribers, which is a crazy number. But today Tom talks about this kid named Alec. Alec was going through some troubles with cancer and Alec's dream was to hang out with Tom or Syndicate as you may know him. So this was all part of a program called Make-A-Wish and the Syndicate actually came and hung out with Alec for a whole day and did a bunch of cool stuff and uh, he actually found out that Alec had passed away from cancer so which is just very sad so uh, yeah check this out. If you guys remember I did a Make-A-Wish when I went to E3 2016 and I had the pleasure of going out there with Xbox and they organized me doing a Make-A-Wish. And the Make-A-Wish was to go and hang out with Alec for a day who could choose to do anything he wanted in the world. Like, absolutely anything. He could have gone to travel the world, he could have gone here, he could have done that. But instead, Alec, who was fighting a battle with cancer, um, chose to spend his day with me. Good. So the next day I organised us going on a helicopter flight, which if you guys saw in the vlog, uh, I took uh, his dad and me... Um, and, and, and Alec up in a helicopter, we flew all around Los Angeles and checked it all out from above and he like, he absolutely loved it and he absolutely enjoyed it. You know, um, he was telling me about like when we went for dinner, this drink that he has to drink, which is like beetroots and carrots and ginger. It was, and you guys showed him so much support, like, you guys, really? Alex lost his battle with cancer, um, like three days ago. And everyone, like his close friends who messaged me, telling me and his parents messaged me. 
and everyone was asking why I wasn't talking about it, and out of respect for the family, I didn't want to, and they, like, they gave me permission to be able to let you guys know that, fortunately, he did, he did, he did lose his battle, and you know, now he's in a better place because he really wasn't in a good spot, so. And to anyone else who's out there going through any troubles like this, you know, just stay strong, be close with your family, and everything like that. Our last video is actually about Boogie2988, his Draw My Life video. Now this video is very sad, I've watched it a couple times. He talks about his life and growing up and he actually had a very sad childhood growing up. But as you can see it just, it just progresses and gets happier, which is good. His life is at his peak, so that is good, but he, talk, he talks about some pretty deep stuff about his childhood and everything, so yeah. We had a medium-sized family. I was the youngest and the smallest, and uh, my brother Brian, he was the oldest. He was pretty cool. And my sister Carla, she was kind of crazy, actually, and uh, eventually she ran away, and my brother went off to college, which left me alone at the age of nine with my crazy, angry, depressed family, which really kind of sucked. So my dad was almost always at work, and that left me alone with my mother, who was always sad all the time, and... Sometimes she'd get really angry and she'd scream at me and that happened almost every day and sometimes she'd hit me and that happened every day too. But enough about that. My brother used to tell me that my dad was a pretty laid back guy and he was kind of fun but by the time I came around all dad liked to do was drink and he liked to drink Pabst Blue Ribbon and he drank like 20 or 30 of them a day and that's pretty much all he did. And that's why if you ever meet me, you don't get to buy me a beer, you buy me a Mountain Dew instead. As a kid, I was always pretty much sick. Either it was my allergies or chicken pox or something going on, but I pretty much was always sick. And because I didn't get much physical activity, I also got really fat. Eventually, all that drinking and smoking and coal mining caught up to my dad. Something went wrong in his brain. They called it alcoholic seizures, though. It pretty much was just like a stroke and it left him like a stroke victim. He couldn't work anymore so it was up to me and my my mother to take care of him and all he did was pretty much sit in his recliner and stare at the wall. He couldn't really communicate, he couldn't hear because he was deaf from working in the mines and he couldn't talk because of his stutter and that's really really sad. Then my poor mother who was already pretty sad and already pretty angry got even sadder and got even angrier and the bad stuff she did started happening more often and, and the good stuff she did kind of disappeared. And as you can imagine, all this made me really, really sad. I didn't really have any friends at school either, which kind of sucked. The kids at school would call me fat or, or ugly or gross. Uh, four eyes, of course, because eventually I got glasses and man, that was hard. And life just kind of went on like that for years. I was always pretty sad and people were always kind of mean to me and mom was always kind of crazy and dad was very sick. But eventually I got an opportunity to go to a pre-collegiate program called Upward Bound. And that made me really happy because I met a lot of people there who didn't think I was fat and didn't think I was gross and didn't think I was weird. But they thought I was cool and funny. And all these new friends, they liked the same stuff I did. They liked video games, and they liked gaming, they liked board games, and they liked Dungeons and & Dragons, and I got to use my very first computer, and we would play these games together, and I even met my very first girlfriend in Upward Bound, and it changed my life. It changed my life forever for the better, because I wasn't sad all the time. It made me happy. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you would like more videos like this. I do upload daily, so comment below any suggestions on what videos you would like to see. I know this was a very sad video, but leave a like if you've seen any of these videos. These are very sad. But yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna end it off here, so make sure to subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Okay.